Hello class, my name is Philip Robinson. So after doing this Horatio Alger as an activity, I ended up with 19 points. This exercise made me realize that growing up, I was privileged. I would say that because I was raised by two parents in household. Um, I had two younger brothers, I'm the oldest of three, and I had to set an example for them. Uh, there were two statements that applied to my shape as learning as a learner while growing up. The first statement is those who were raised in a healthy and stable family environment. And the second statement is all those who were enrolled in gate honors or advanced placement courses. Growing up, I remember spending time, always remember spending time with my family. We used to have family dinners, go on trips, little mini vacations. Uh, we used to, uh, or my parents were, they raised us well because me and my brothers, we were never disrespectful to our parents, grandparents, other family members, and even just people that we never even knew, just in general. If we were, <laughs> we got in trouble. Now that me and my brothers are older, we don't do family dinners that often. And we can't really plan any trips because we're all working now. Education has always been something uh, taught and spoken in our household. Uh, my parents did not have a bachelor degree. Um, I would be the first to get one in my family and one of our brothers is right behind me and will be achieving his in a couple years. I took AP stats my senior year in high school. I always liked math ever since I was younger. There was a time in elementary school that I bumped up to advanced class, math class, because I was getting A's in the intermediate class. Anyways, I was nervous about taking this AP stats class because I didn't know anything about stats. I mean, the only thing I knew about stats was like sports wise because I play sports. Uh, I ended that year with a B and the class was like interesting and engaging. The teacher made it fun. So while growing up, my parents told us that if you want things in life, you have to work for it. I am a middle class individual or was raised basically in middle class. Um, and I know the values of hard work and dedication. Like just seeing, like I said, my parents, you know, they were raised three kids by the age of 24. <laughs> and I can't even imagine myself at the age of 25 having three kids and trying to, like I said, you know, like support them and make sure they got food on the table, house over the head, clothes on their back, and even, like I said, just making them go to school or not making them go to school, but like let them get education and basically like play sports. Anyways, as a young child, yes, me and my brothers got handed things to us, like, and we were spoiled. As I got older, I knew that nothing was going to be handed to us. I feel like equality is not equal for anybody. Like the word respect basically comes to mind uh, because if you treat someone with the respect, you would think that they would give it back to you. That's not true all the time. Culture for black Americans, like in our society, is far from what it should be. Like there are a few majority, you know, small little group who are doing the right thing, going to school, getting education, like, you know, working, getting promoted jobs. Um, but the rest of us, or the rest of that majority of the group, our group, um, or trying to be rappers, professional athletes, because 
if you see on social media, on TV, anything, like that's all that is portrayed for black Americans because like they want the newest cars or the latest cars, the designer clothes and the jewelry. So one of the things Antonio Valdez said that aligns with the bootstrap myth is how working hard in life will get you to where you want to be. No matter what the job is or sport you are playing, if you don't work hard, are not going, you are not going to advance your skills or get promoted to a high level. Thank you for watching my video.